on this season of Kicking and Screaming, 10 of America's most hardcore. I'm sorry that you guys have to die for us to eat. There's a lot at stake here. The emotions are just going wild within yourself. Will this opportunity ever happen again for me? Probably not. I really feel that I'm gonna win this for my family. Mm -hmm. We're at the end at this point. We made it to the top three teams. I came here to make myself proud, to make my family proud, to make my friends proud. But I'm not giving up. Welcome, teams. You have made it to the top three. Yeah. Congratulations. Wow. You must be so proud of yourselves right now. I'm proud yeah. of my partner. Yeah, right? It's been a lot of work. Yeah. There is a lot riding on today's challenge. Today, we are going to wipe the slate clean. No prize, no power, just a battle for the two spots in the final challenge, where you will have a 50-50 shot at $500,000. Woo! <laughs> right on. How are you feeling right now? I mean, a lot is riding on today. We're happy at home, but when it comes out here, I want Terry to lose mm -hmm. and Claire and Brady all to lose. I hate to disappoint yeah. Ben, but we're gonna. Yeah. Sarah, you know you just told Ben that you're going to lose today. <laughs> no, I'm going to disappoint him because he said we are going to lose. Oh. <laughs> so I'm, I'm sorry to disappoint my friend, but we're still in. You know, we're the underdog. I'm going up against Ben, the Air Force survival instructor, and Brady, the special ops marine sniper. But that's all right. You know, underdogs are known for fighting. So we'll just keep on fighting. That's what I'm talking about here. All right, guys, should we talk about this challenge? Yeah. All right. Yep. OK. In this challenge today, you will use coconuts to stay alive. You will start by cracking coconuts and using the water inside to fill a tube that will float a key to the surface. That key will unlock a two-man saw that you will use to cut down a coconut tree stump. As your stump falls, it will raise your flag. First. Two teams to raise their flag will go head to head for half a million dollars. The losing team will go home. Claire, how have you prepared for this moment? It's kind of hard to prepare for stuff like this because I've never touched a saw in my life. I've never even seen a saw in my life, so I've never picked one up. Um. Yeah, so the struggle is real. All right, all teams, are you ready? Yes. Ready, ready. Three, two, one, go. Wow, that is a mad dash to the coconuts. Coconut, 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 coconut me. Go, Brady, go, Brady. Brady already just cracking the coconuts as fast as it can. My technique going into this challenge is going to be holding it in a hand, cracking it once, putting it on there. I don't want to do it from the ground, because cracking it down there and bringing it up, you lose too much water. Go. Looks like Brady and Claire are in the lead. Move it. Ben wants those coconuts yeah. faster from Juliana. Ben, you are losing a lot of coconut water. Move it. Brady and Claire, you are in the lead, halfway to getting your key. Natalie just squeezing those coconuts in there. You are right behind. Move it. Here you go, here you go. Crap. Looks like <laughs> Brady and Claire are more than halfway Move through. It. Claire is running back to get more coconuts. Brady was like Mr. Macho Man when it came to cracking those coconuts. I couldn't even grab enough coconuts to keep up with how fast he was cracking them. It was nuts. <sighs> Brady and Claire. Move it. They are close. 
All right, go. Get it. And they have their keep. Here, here. Brady and Claire are running to get their saw. Move on. The last team to saw down their coconut tree Amen. is going home. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Got the saw? Okay. Got it? Yep. So Brady and Claire are ahead of us. So we're going head to head with Ben and Juliana. It sucks. Pull. Push. Hurry up, coconuts, coconuts. Brady and Claire already sawing down nice their Nice and easy. Don't push into it, all right? Terry and Natalie, Ben and Juliana, you do not want to be in last place today. Got it, got it. Sorry. Terry and Natalie just grabbed their key. They are now unlocking their saw. Ben and Juliana are struggling to get their coconut water to float that key up. One more. Is that in? Yes. That's the middle, middle. Terry and Natalie now. Terry, you go, go, go that side. Ben and Juliana just struggling with those coconuts. Go. Ben and Juliana now have their key. They are unlocking their saw. Okay. Ben and Juliana are 30 seconds behind, but they can catch up. They have to saw like crazy, though, if they're going to catch up to right. Terry and Natalie. Now put pressure towards the center as I pull it. Give it a pull. Right. We got to move it. You have to have the perfect rhythm to get the two-man saw to work in your favor. Otherwise, it is your biggest enemy. Oh. 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 We've got this because we use two-handed saws a lot in the Boy Scouts. Oh. 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 Terry and Allie got a key post strategy back and forth. <laughs> Oh, yeah. At one point, we stopped saying heave ho. I heard what it sounded like, and I was like, heave yeah, that, that, ho. Yeah, that, you're right. So we don't have push, Brady and Claire in the lead, but Brady is just struggling with the saw at the moment. At the beginning, like, we had a rhythm, but then we started almost panicking a bit. <laughs> it won't Take it out. Brady and Claire struggling with this saw. I think that was just seeing the other teams come right up next to us. Now they've caught up. Switch! Terry and Allie have switched position. OK, not so far. Hold on. Reset it. Give it a pull. Terry and Allie are so close. Whoa! Now! Definitely the comeback kids. We're, We're in the, the final! <laughs> now it is a race for the second spot Get in the ready. finals. Brady and Blair and Ben and Juliana. Keep going, guys. Brady does not want to lose. He is just yanking that saw all the way through. Cool. Pain is temporary. All right, pain is temporary. <laughs> At that moment. I was like, you have to keep going. Pain is temporary, Claire. Pain is temporary. They are so close. Push it. You're close. You're close. Ben is now just trying to beat the coconut tree stuff down. You got this. Bad news, Matt's parents just Today, May 25th, only on Fox. You're close, you're close. Ben is now just trying to beat the coconut tree stuff down. You got this. <laughs> You're close, you're close. Come on, you can do it. You're so close. I'm going to try to push it. Right. Yeah. Brady and Claire, second team, heading to the final. We made it to the final. Yeah. Woo! Go, Brady. Boom. Go, Brady. Go. No, we can't do that. You can eat pizza tonight. <laughs> I kind of do feel like I let Ben down. 
if I would have been stronger, you know. Sorry, Ben. I'm sorry. Don't, don't not say that. Don't say that. Don't do that. Hold your Smile. Head now, Come on. We're posing. <laughs> Turn that frown upside down. <laughs> It was so intense. Congratulations to Terry and Natalie, Brady and Claire. Both teams now have a 50-50 shot at half a million dollars. Wow. A lot to think about, a lot to prepare for mentally, physically. So I'm going to let you guys do that. Head back to camp. Thank you. Bye, guys. Congratulations. Congratulations. Who needs a quarter million, anyway? <laughs> ben and Juliana, how has this experience changed you? How have you seen yourself grow? I've been able to see the strength and character in everyone. When I originally thought about this experience, I thought it was just going to be spoiled rich kids. This has taught me you know, not to judge people and to respect everyone for who they are. So. What's going through your mind right now, Juliana? I'm emotional. I know you're emotional. Because of my size, people underestimate me a lot. I'm proud yeah. of, of our teamwork. We, we were a strong team from the beginning. We won the very first challenge. We won the very last prize challenge. <laughs> I think my family and friends are going to be really proud. It makes me really sad to do this, because we're so close to the end. I know. It has been an incredible journey. I'm sorry to say your journey does end here. Thank you, Hannah. All right, guys. <laughs> All right. Oh, you smell good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a pleasure. We didn't win money, but I won an experience with some really great people. And Ben and I will be friends forever. <laughs> I better be the best man at your wedding. Deal. Whenever you have one. We did a damn good job. Yeah, we did. Uh-oh. Hey, guys. Well, look who we Lucky, have here. Lucky, lucky. Here <laughs> she comes. If I'd have known she was coming, I'd put on a spot of tea. <laughs> oh, no. What do you mean, oh, no? That's, That's how you guys greet your house guests Oh, my now? God. Yeah. Welcome, yeah. welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Anytime we see Hannah, and you're like, what is it uh -oh. now? All right, guys, so I have some news for you. I'm going to send each team off so they can spend some time preparing, strategizing, and reflecting on this entire journey. Right on. And I'll send you off with a picnic. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Right on. Picnic. Yeah, actual food. I That's awesome. Covered. Enjoy the day. Use yes. the time wisely. Wow. Have some fun. Next time I see you, we will do the final challenge, and one team will win. $500,000. That's insanity. Woo! That's insanity. It's insanity. And this doesn't even seem wow. real. I know. Oh, thank you, Hannah. Appreciate that. Thanks, nice. Hannah. Yeah! Yeah! Food! Yeah. Food! food. <laughs> This is huge. Going into the final challenge, you've got to have food in you, man. We've got to have calories to burn because we're still going at a big deficit here. Whoa, Terry. Wow. Holy. Oh, my God. We walk up the path, and it opens up to this. <laughs> This is insane. Wow. Um, I want to go swimming. It's amazing. Oh, man. It, it's like a dream come true. Oh, it's like nature shower. This is the cleanest I've been in an entire month. Yeah, I could run my fingernails through my hair and get dirt and salt and everything out of them before. So to be underneath that waterfall, oh, you knew it was true. It was amazing. What do we got? Food, cheese. Food, cheese. Meat. Yes. Cheese. Cheese. Oh, oh my gosh. Can amazing. We go We're both cheeseaholics, man. Forget everything else. We'll gorge on cheese.
but we'll take everything else, especially the wine. <laughs> oh, this'll do. <laughs> right, I tell you how much I love grapes? Sandwiches! Oh, my God! I don't even care what kind of a sandwich. <laughs> I don't even care. Oh, oh. In all of these oh. days of being out here, it's not the worst thing I've ever eaten by far. <laughs> Are these just more sandwiches? I oh, my so. God, we've got extra sandwiches. Mm. Are you going to take a sip of that? Sip, slug, guzzle. You be the judge. <laughs> hey, Jungle Dad, can you burn okay. me for a second? That's what dads uh, are for. OK. Cheers, Terry, from the beginning Cheers. to now. We're here. I think coming out here, I was expecting to be paired with like some hot young guy. And then seeing Terry in a Boy Scout uniform was just like. <laughs> and we are one challenge away. You know why? For me, being here, I've gotten, you know, sad or, or sure, had sure. times, but you've always been there to back me up and make me feel happy again. And I really appreciate that. You know I'm giving you a hug, right? Yep. Right there. I'm so proud of you. You too, Terry. No. Now let's drink and let's eat. <laughs> let's drink and... And let's be merry. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish we had another bottle of this stuff. What do you think? This didn't even put a dent. No, no. <laughs> I was expecting, you know, today to be challenge day, and here we are. Like, nope, get your own island. This island <sighs> is epic. The water is very inviting. I can't get over how crystal clear it is. I mean, you could just float in it all day. Yeah. It felt so good. It's really nice to walk the sandy beach and just reflect on Brady and I's time together. What do we got? Oh. Oh, yes. yes. Cheese and crackers. Oh, what we got? No, we're ending. What else is in here? Watermelon? Mm-hmm. Lovely. Do you have imagined this on day one? <laughs> no. For me, to get a partner straight out of LA, uh, what else do you do? I'm really good at pageants. OK. If they were to be like, hey, do you want to do this with Miss Wyoming? I would have been like, no. But since you were paired with me. You had no choice. I totally feel like I am Miss Independent right now. I'm in the jungle without my husband, without my family. And you know, of course, I miss my life at home. But this has been such an amazing experience that I'll come out a different person from it. <laughs> Gotta love Fiji, though. Nice little it shower. Rains like that here. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now tomorrow we face Terry and Alley. Uh, Final hoorah. I have to say, I hope you can take this back and you know this experience because I know I will. You know from the relationship advice. Oh yeah, cool. you better take that advice <laughs> and run with it when you get home. Oh, that was a hard one to swallow. But, uh, Why? I'm not used to doing that. Yeah. Like, I'm used to, like, relationships, it's, uh, But you uh, deserve to be in a good one, Brady. You deserve to be loved. You did teach me that. You get home, you need to go home and treat yourself. I did not expect a Beverly Hills pageant winning, high lifestyle living, carry my dog everywhere on, on a blog. A woman shed light on my life, giving me and helping me change like I have so far. I've trained Marines, I've trained Marine Scout snipers, I've trained, you know, Army Special Forces, all these guys. You, by far, have been one of the best students to peer. Aww. And friends that I've ever Thanks, come Brady. With. I never thought in a million years I would learn how to make a fire or hunt for cassava. Like, I didn't even know what cassava was before I got here. And Brady has taught me so much along the way. I'm so thankful for him sharing his knowledge with me. Here we are. Crazy Top two. Brady. Top two Do you believe it? We gotta win tomorrow. You're right. We have to. Like, we didn't come this far for nothing.
Man's Warehouse. Good nest. Look at you. Going into this final challenge, we have no idea in the world what to expect. We've, we've got to do whatever we can to prepare. There's half million dollars at stake on this. Remember, keep that flat. It's not always about speed. It's about how you knife is just yeah how flat you can else. keep it. So I'm practicing really hard on my fire making skills because if Terry and Natalie think they have this in the bag, they wrong. There you go, boom, flame. You got it. Yeah. Claire has become a survivalist of perseverance. She is determined, and she will not quit until she feels she has a grasp on something. And I'm super proud of that. Yeah, burn, baby, burn. Ooh. It's burning. It's burning all right. Let me know when you want to practice fire. I just figured I'd work on it later. You know, go, going into the final challenge, here's the whole question. Which team can bring it back together, focus what little remaining energy they have, and be ready to go? Right now, we're not looking good. We are cold and we're exhausted. For any of us even know it, we're gonna be standing on that starting line of whatever awaits us. Oh God, I don't even wanna think about it. I know. The nerves. I really need a massage. I am not joking. I mean, I work pretty hard around the camp. Absolutely. I really do. Absolutely. And right now, that I really need is just to relax as much as I can before the next challenge. We may have a little weather coming in. Yeah. You think it's gonna rain? I think it's raining right now. Yep, that cloud. Have you ever heard this song? It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. He bumped his head on a piece of bread and couldn't get up in the morning. Bumped his head on a piece of bread and then couldn't wake up in the morning. And I was like, I was like, I always sit on the end of his bed. Oh, really? Bumped his head on the end of the bed. Bumped his head on the end of the bed. Makes sense, you'd get a hemorrhage or, you know, internal bleeding and wouldn't wake up, you know, something like that. That's how I think. <laughs> Claire just, she's in her own little world. She's her own person. I love that about her. Bumped his head on a piece of bread. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep well, y'all. It's the last night in camp. We see storm clouds coming in. Here comes the rain. It just keeps getting worse and worse. It would do this. Never ends. Our shelter is now days old, so the leaves are shrinking. It's leaking like a sieve, man. It's cold out. It's miserable. This sucks. When you think it can't get any worse, it gets worse. Like, real worse. What the heck? Natalie? good? Yeah. The stinking hooch, bam, right down on top of us. Yeah, I'm okay. All right, girls, go ahead and crawl out. I can hold it up on this end. Yeah. I got it up on this end. I'm sitting here like this, like holding yeah. it up. Yeah. It was quite a jolt, for sure. Okay, buddy. When it came down, I got hurt. All I could feel was pain shooting my hand. Right? Yep. I had a previous injury to one of my fingers. Uh, it was a deep cut down to the tendon. And when I caught the shelter, that finger went straight to my palm. Right now, it hurt. 
Tomorrow is the final challenge. Nobody else sees it. Nobody else knows. I don't want any of them to know. I don't want Claire to know. She's got enough on her plate already. If we have to hold anything for a long amount of time, I'm going to be in serious pain. Kids, are you ready to get this party started? Yeah! Love Connection premieres Thursday, May 25th on Fox. I can only imagine what the challenge is going to be. Competing against Terry and Natalie in this final challenge for the half a million dollars. I'm not going to lie, it's going to be a dogfight. It's going to come down to who wants it more. Brady and Claire are strong. They are fast. They are the toughest team that we did not want to go up against in this final challenge. I honestly feel like stretching. I might go do some yoga. There you go. I needed to just like take a deep breath. I get really nervous before stuff. And right now, I feel pretty nauseous. I may do a little stretching up here. We've got to do whatever we can to prepare. We've got to recoup, we've got to rest, revigorate, and be ready to go. What's going through my mind is how bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? That's what you have to ask yourself, man. The pain right now in my finger on a scale of one to 10 out of seven. But it doesn't matter what the injury is. It could be a compound fracture, cracked skull, and I'm still going to push through to the end. I want Claire to win. Do it for Claire. Hey, girl, hey. Hi, guys. Welcome, teams, to the final challenge. Yeah. Man, finally. Yeah. finally. 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 You started this competition as total opposites. The online gamer and the Boy Scout, the Hollywood housewife and the sniper. Each of you have grown so tremendously along the way. Claire, what's at stake for you today? A lot is at stake. I feel the most pressure to win for this guy right here. He's um, taught me so much this past month, and he wants to give a lot to the veterans, and I would like to help him do that. Terry, who are you playing for today? You know, it's, it's been my life goal to be able to inspire more people. This would give me the opportunity to reach out to more people, and that means the world to me. Natalie, how have you grown throughout this competition? I have grown quite a bit. <laughs> I feel like I have really faced one of my biggest fears, like being squeamish and dealing with them cutting open sharks and eating live grubs and just disconnecting from my online world, me remembering to connect with people in real life. Yeah, I mean, I've just, I've changed so much since I got here. All right, one challenge stands between you and a half million dollars. Novices, you came here completely out of your element, and your survivalists gave you the tools to stay alive. In this challenge, you'll be tested on the skills you've learned along the way, including the most basic, starting fire. So, this challenge will begin with your survivalists stranded on a raft and depending on you. Novices must dig up a handle for the crank to reel in your partner. Together, disassemble the raft and use the colored poles to knock down your spears. Then the survivalist must use the spears to hit a target that will release your flint. Novices must start a fire, and the first team to set the cauldron ablaze becomes the kicking and screaming champions. Wow. My hand is now a liability, but I'm pretty confident in my abilities. I'm going to get a target. Whew. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brady and Claire are strong, limber, young, strong. Did I mention that? Are we the underdog? Yeah, I believe we are. But I have fought many losing battles before, and I think every losing battle should be fought. All right, teams, ready? Here we go, brother. And go! So, Amara, you're... Folks, Miss USA, May 14th, live on Fox. All right, team, the winner of this challenge will become the first kicking and screaming champions. Ready? Here we go, brother. And go! Both Claire and Natalie are just digging to try to find that crank handle. The quicker they find the handle, the quicker they can pull Brady and Terry into shore. Use your body, Claire! Use your body! Claire is in her element. She immediately puts it on, turns around, and here she is, going. Come on, baby, you got it! You got it! You got this, Matt! Both girls just trying to get a good rhythm going. Looking at this, I'm like, okay, I think I have more upper body strength than Claire. Use both hands if you can. Back towards me, both hands. And guess what? My arms are a little too short. My boobs are a little too big. Ah. Natalie's struggling a little bit with that crank handle. Claire has an advantage over me with her long arms and being able to do this. And every time I do this, it's pulling my shirt down. And I am just struggling. It's time right now. We need more. Put your back towards me. Now we're going with the one-handed technique. You got this. Keep it coming. Doing Keep great. it coming. Keep it coming. Doing great, Brady Claire. is now in the lead. He on, is Claire. just sailing right into short. Terry, though, is shortly behind. It is very Keep close. Keep and Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Doing great. Grab a rock. Grab Brady. A rock. Brady is there. You keep it coming. Okay, we're there. Now you have to disassemble your wraps and use the colored holes to retrieve the spears. Got one out here. Okay, help me. Help me get them off. Help me. Pull. Pull. Oh. That was done. Pull it out. Pull it out. I can't. This is tricky, and the girls have been working hard already with those cranks. All you need to do is pull it out. I've got them undone on the back. All right, OK. Keep pulling this in. Pull. Pull. Okay. Claire and Brady now have their pull. first yellow pull. Sorry. Come on. <sighs> Come on. It's stuck. Pull. Claire is now working on her second one. Take that one, Elizabeth. Get him. Yep, go. Terry and Natalie have their first purple pull. Terry and Natalie have their second purple pull. Both teams have to take the poles and unwind the spears off the branches. One, two, three. Okay, on here, get that thing, that one. No, no, this one up here, this one up here. One, two, three. Terry and Natalie have got one push, and it didn't connect. No, we're getting three, huh? Brady and Claire, they're working on the knots, trying to release the spears. If there is one thing that will be the fault of this challenge, it's this hand. I got one. Keep going. Yeah. Keep going. Do it again. Okay. Right. Terry and Natalie have their spears over. This is a little bit of strategy. How many spears do you think it will take to hit your target? You don't want to waste time going back for more. Two the two. OK, come on, let's go. Brady's going with two spears. Breathe, Brady. And a miss. Just do it this way. Just do it this way. I can't. Switch. Switch. Try to go for the higher one. Quickly. Brady's taking a breath. Brady's taking that spear to try to hit that target to get flint. Why is this so freaking hard? All right, let's go. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. 
Sorry, sorry, sorry. Second attempt, he misses again. I'm like, come on, you a sniper. You can get this. Go. Hang on, come on. Oh, come on. Our strategy is to get three spears, because you can reach those easily. And if you miss with those three spears, you can get more. <sighs> Two, but go. now, all of a sudden, we have to do it in two spears to catch up. Come on, Terry. I throw the first spear, and I miss. I throw the second spear. Terry now just throwing the spears, got and it, he got has it. the split. I go insane. Matt, come get it. Now we are neck and neck. OK, you got this. It is all on Natalie and Claire right now. Who can make fire first? Use the blade. Use the blade. Focus. Come on, man. Right. Come on, man. Wherever you want to go, chances. on Fox. Got it! Now we are neck and neck. OK, you got this. It is all on Natalie and Claire right now. Who can make fire first? On the dryer part. Use the blade. Use the blade. Come on. Come on, baby. Once you start your fire, light that torch and get it to the cauldron to win the game. Help. The pressure. Put the blade down like we were using my knife before. You can use the blade if you want to. OK, good. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's an insane amount of pressure, especially when you don't have full control. A lot of smoke yeah. happening and a flame. Natalie got a flame so close. Come on. Do it again. Come on. I see her struggling, but I have full confidence in it. And the only thing I had to say was quantity over quality on the strikes. And she goes, got it. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Come on. Oh, man. So close. I'm running, I'm running. And we have fire. Terry and Natalie running to the cauldron. Not over yet. And they keep their flame alight. Get up there, Natalie, right here. Natalie climbing up, Terry right behind her. Natalie lighting the cauldron ablaze. Woo! Is it in? Thanks, Brady. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. You've come this far, OK? Terry and Natalie, the comeback kid. Oh, oh, my God. Come here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We won. Ah! Oh, my God. What? What? Wow, wow, wow. Both of you have just pushed yourselves out of oh your God. comfort zones. Oh You've God. survived elimination oh after elimination. You have shown such resilience and growth. Terry and Natalie, you are the kicking oh my God. Oh. And you have earned a half million oh my God. dollars. What the heck? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Congratulations, we Yay! have a helicopter here to take oh you back God. to civilization. <laughs> All right, head on over and get on board. There's no way in the world this was going to happen, <laughs> and it just happened. Winning the whole competition is not only life-changing for us, but I feel like it should be a story for everyone. Yeah. We can go through the fighting and come back together and work together. If we can do that, anyone can do that. <laughs>